Hi, Nick Collier here, and this is my shop. Come join me. We'll have some fun. Okay, here we are again, and uh, oh, I don't know, it's probably about a week later, uh, and I haven't been able to get back to this project, but now we're back to it, and we can uh, move forward. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, take this slug and drill a hole in it, this, and bore a hole in it, the size of the shaft of the, uh, of the gearbox, and then, well, oh, actually, I'm not going to drill the hole first. I'm going to weld this plate to the top of it first. Then come in and make some gussets that are going to come down and spread out maybe three gussets and maybe more, probably just three. Get that all welded and in place. Then come in and bore my hole and then face off the top of the plate and we'll be, we will have a platform to work from so that uh, I can start to build the cage for the, uh, for the um, uh, stock pot, 122 quart stock pot. I'm going to give you a picture of that so you can see the monster that it is. All right, first thing we're going to do is uh, square up this end so that whatever we weld to is going to be uh, square. That's going to be, take about two seconds. As soon as we get all set up, which is always what takes the, the amount of time. Oops, plug in. All right, we've got to find center. That's pretty easy. Okay, somewhere close to center. A little strike, and maybe another one here, and another one here. Let's see. another one there. So someplace right in the center there. And now what we want to do is find the center of this, which I think is two inches. Somewhere in that general area. Okay, we're going to need to uh, center punch that. There's center. That should do the trick. Looks pretty good. It's just a little bit bigger than. Uh, we've got some rocking going on here. 
mostly because of that center punch. There it is. Looks good. Now what I want to do is get this up on stilts so that I'm not heating the table. to center as we can get, hook up our ground, and uh, we're going to tack this in and then probably stick weld it. So uh, let's put this away. weight on this so that it doesn't want to move around too much. Looks pretty good. Let's see what we can do. take it over and put it in the lathe and see how square we are because I definitely want this thing to be square. All right well it's not square and if you go with this little point right there you can see that well I, actually I got up closer I was just kind of tapping on it a little bit. Something like right there. That's pretty good. I think I can live with that. Let me make sure that I'm tight. It seems like it's wiggling around a bit. Yeah, I wasn't even tight. Okay, let's try it again. closer I'd say that's pretty good we're within 20 or so and what I'm gonna do is uh, put this up against the the lathe when after it's welded and do the hole first and then bring it back around and uh, flatten the outer surface. So that's a good start and hopefully we can take this out without breaking the weld because it doesn't look like it's a real strong weld. Okay, let's get another start going here. a little 
gas in, get a mask. Okay, now we got a strong weld. So, uh, next is we're going to warm this up and then we're going to put it up on top of the weld positioner and, uh, and see if we can weld it uh, and use the weld positioner for the first time. Well, not the first time, but maybe the first time that it actually works. So we'll be back. Okay, well, we want a good weld. So the first thing we're going to do is preheat this thing till we get it up to uh, some kind of temperature. but I knew you were hiding somewhere. <laughs> Behind the bright light. Yep. Back to the exciting oh day. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is how I feel every day. Yep. <laughs> so much warmer today. Nice. See you later. That's a decent second pass. Now we're just going to kind of come in and catch some places that we missed.
Let's try again. Let's get some of the smoke out of here first though. Okay, not the prettiest weld in the world, but certainly adequate. And we will get this down on the table and we're gonna prep for the uh, process. Okay, so we got it welded in place. We've got it leveled somewhat, and uh, and uh, yeah, okay, I'm gonna paint it. I don't know. It looks so crappy. I just like you know, it's got about eight different colors on it. Let's just paint it. And plus, I can't seem to uh, scrub off the the sconge. So uh, hey, let's put a coat of paint on it. Okay, follow along. We're gonna do some painting fun. Okay, so uh, we're ready to put the gussets in. They're still a little bit warm. Let's get it all. And we're just going to mig these in. All right, that's a good start.
I'm thinking someplace right about there. And we're just laying them in barely. Just in case. Oh, hot. Just in case uh, I don't get it right. And I think that looks pretty good. We're going to put this in with my left hand. Ha! Okay, so we've got it in the four jaw. We squared it up this way and we squared it up this way and it's actually fairly close. Uh, and we faced off this, this uh, the face here. So what I want to do is I want to come in and clean up this edge or this uh, surface here so that when I flip it, I've got something to, to indicate to. So... Okay, it's a new day and uh, we are going to drill our hole and uh, see what we can do about that. There we go. All right, well, now we've come to the uh, stainless steel part, which is um, this plate, and we need to slow way down and cut it very slowly. That's all we're going to do for now. We're just barely punching through. <clears throat> Actually, I should have stopped a little earlier. 
so that the oil doesn't go through and start spinning out around here uh, around the other side of this plate so uh, let's go to the next size shouldn't be a problem Okay, so uh, <clears throat> the length of our shaft is critical here because we can't go the whole length. So our shaft is about right there. That's how long it is, and which takes us just pretty much right to the end of the flutes. Uh, and what I'm gonna do is, yeah, I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna do something about uh, because I've got to come in and cut a keyway in here, right? And in order to get a keyway in here without using a, uh, um, you know, a shaper or a jumping jack, and I don't have one, uh, is to put a uh, keyway cutter and have it run the whole length. Uh, if it runs the whole length, then of course this part here, up here, is going to be... Uh, the same as this and the shaft is going to slide all the way down so we have to kind of figure that one out I'm not sure how to approach it I'm thinking maybe just leave a little bit of a shoulder right here and have the keyway cutter come in and cut the shoulder but the rest of it not um, not uh, affecting it and then this is the size of the shaft and out here will be oversized uh, so that the keyway cutter can go all the way through but we're gonna play with it and see what we got Okay, that gives us a one inch hole and we need to go to one, one hundred and roughly uh, ten thousandths. So, we got another hundred thousandths to cut, which is going to leave us with a fair amount of, um, of wall space for the normal situation. But we need to cut a keyway in here and we need to put two... Um, set screws on top of the keyway. Now we could put them on the opposite side of the keyway and that would probably work out just fine because you know we're not taking this thing off and on all the time. So I'm thinking that might be the way to do it. And that way we don't have to weld a boss onto the outside of this. We can have this nice and clean. So uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to come in and bore this and get this thing set up with the lathe bed because of course this is a very old lathe 1954 and it isn't as square as it once was so it's going to be a, a bit of a fight to get it to uh, square up but a boring hit now can we use something like this can, but it's pretty close. Well, actually, I think this side is even bigger, so nope, we can't use it. But we can use this one. Yes, with of course another bit. And that will work. Actually, we're only going in about that far, so that's going to be good. No problem. 
So uh, we'll come back and once we get another bit in and sharpen it and get it all ready to go. And we'll be back.